In this paper, we explore input sensing using high-frequency short-range radar. Our technique is agnostic to the underlying sensor. Here we apply it to Google's Project Soli, a solid-state millimeter wave radar. Soli emits an electromagnetic wave and captures energy that is reflected back from several parts of the human hand. In contrast to traditional radar applications, the sensor does not try to reconstruct the spatial structure of the target, but proposes a sensing approach that prioritizes high temporal resolution to detect subtle, non-rigid motion in the millimeter range. Here we demonstrate that the sensor does not resolve the shape of objects with high resolution. However, Soli is very sensitive to motion and allows for segmentation in the velocity and range domain. In our work, we use range Doppler images, shown here. The horizontal axis corresponds to velocity, and the vertical axis corresponds to radial distance. Our main contribution is a novel machine learning architecture specifically designed for gesture recognition with this data. Our algorithm combines the steps of representation learning and dynamic modeling into a single end-to-end -end model. A user gesturing above the sensor results in a stream of range Doppler images. In the next step, we perform background removal and normalize the signal. A convolutional neural network learns an intermediate feature representation. To exploit temporal information in the data, we feed the CNN's output into an LSTM recurrent neural network. For each time step, a hidden state vector encodes the history of motion information, and a gesture probability is computed by the RNN. To achieve best performance, it is important to train the RNN and CNN jointly in an end-to-end -end manner. During training, we use the final recognition accuracy as optimization criterion. Here we demonstrate the recognition of some of the proposed gestures. In the inset, we plot the temporal evolution of the prediction probability. The gesture set is designed to contain small amounts of motion and to require as little effort as possible. Our method achieves 79% per frame accuracy and 88% when averaged over the entire sequence. The method is robust to intersubject variability. For more details, please refer to the paper. Thanks for watching.